News 25 this is brought to you by Golden Casino Group, where you'll always find great fun, good food, and fantastic entertainment, all at Gold Town, Lakeside, and the Pahrump Nugget. News is also brought to you by J.K. Nelson Law. Call 727-9900 today for your free consultation. If you need a lawyer, you need Nelson. EA announces electric rate increases and a structure and several vehicles are lost to flames. News 25 starts now. You're watching KPVM News 25 with Unet Gentry. News 25. Local coverage you can count on. Get ready for an increase in your electric rates. It's Thursday, February 7th. I'm Unette Gentry. Following the recent surprise increase in rates for internet and IP phone service by Valley Communications, Valley Electric has now announced increased electrical rates effective March 1st. CEO Angela Evans says they are increasing energy rates 9% per month and raising the facility charge $5 per month for residential customers. The rate adjustment is the first permanent electric rate increase in more than 10 years for Valley Electric consumer members. In 2017, a temporary 9.9 percent rate adjustment was reversed. The CEO says that they exhausted all possibilities for internal cost control to avoid that increase. The cooperative even eliminated 18 job positions along with 16 jobs that were cut in January during a voluntary separation and employee buyout. VEA's new kilowatt hour rates to consumers will still be below national and state averages. Besides the job eliminations, VEA reduced $11 million of annual operating expenses to bring them in line with revenue. A longtime family owned business caught fire. Wednesday night right here in town. Some members of the Benedict family were at home when they were notified that a newly constructed fire was on their property. Pahrump Valley Fire and Rescue and Nye County Sheriff's deputies were dispatched to a structure fire last night on East Charleston Boulevard. Upon arrival, there was black smoke showing from a very large metal storage building. Traffic was blocked in all directions while fire crews attempted to extinguish the blaze. The storage facility, which was recently erected by John Air Heating and Air Conditioning, housed a Class A recreational vehicle, two quad, a boat, two classic cars, and various heating and air conditioning equipment. The entire building and all of the property as well as vehicles inside were completely destroyed. There was also damage to other vehicles in close proximity to the fire. News 25 spoke to Jennifer and Liberty Benedict on scene last night. The Benedict family has owned John Eyre for many years and are very well known here in the valley. When we were inside and a neighbor called us and told us our garage was smoking, so we went outside, noticed the garage was on fire. We went inside grab the, to grab the keys because the doors were shut. And when we came back out from grabbing the keys, the door was opened, like um, electrical, something happened. So our motor home was engulfed in flames. Um, the whole, I mean, you could, who could have thought a metal roof, a metal garage was gonna go up in flames that fast. We have a pontoon boat in there, a 1955 Chevy four-door car, candy apple oh, red. Oh, my dad loved that car. Uh, two rhinos and some oxycetylene, a lot of tools. Everybody is okay. We had to go back in to get the um, buttercup, the dog. And um, she's pretty shaken up. My daughter Liberty is pretty shaken up. So and my dad, I can't even imagine how he's feeling right now. No injuries were reported as a result of this fire. The state fire marshal was on scene this morning, and it appears that the fire originated from the recreational vehicle and appears to be accidental in nature. The estimated cost of the damage is unknown at this time. Well, glad to hear everyone was okay and there was no significant damage, especially in life. Well, will two major department stores recover from bankruptcy? Angela Miles reports on that and more in today's Business First Brief. 
Tapping our news, lawyers for Sears and its creditors are battling it out in court. The bankruptcy judge could reach a decision yet this week about whether Sears and Kmart stores will continue to operate. The Sears side argues the judge should accept Sears chairman Eddie Lampert's $5 billion offer to buy the chain because it's better for creditors, store employees, and vendors. Creditors want to liquidate the business. They accuse Lampert and his hedge fund of creating a scheme to essentially steal Sears assets. J.C. Penney is slimming down in the appliance department. That retail chain will end selling major appliances in stores February 28th. According to a blog, it's to improve its financial performance. It's the first major change by the new CEO. The stock is trading just above a dollar. General Motors is taking investors on a joy ride with its share price. The automaker posted a net profit of $8.1 billion for 2018. Thanks, Angela. And we'll be right back here at KPVM, where we like to say that stands for keeping Pahrump and our area viewers in mind.